So welcome back everyone to, what is this, our fifth, sixth annual winter? Seventh. Seventh annual winter or special program. So we're heading out, we've, we're a little bit tardy getting our Christmas tree this year. Yep. We were uh, kind of holding off, waiting, hoping that there we'd have a day that it was snowy. Yeah. And we got that today. So we'll bring you along, we're gonna go cut our Christmas tree. So where have you been? Just busy. Been busy? Been we haven't busy. seen you in a video for what, a year or so? Oh, I think it's been two. Maybe two years. <laughs> <laughs> so after uh, so after we get the tree, we thought we might bring you inside, and you're going to make us a special Swedish Christmas uh, treat, right? I had no idea. Yeah, I, I'm I sure thought, I can whip something I up. I thought, thought that you might, so you can come and enjoy <laughs> us by the fire. But I you have, guys are the first to know. <laughs> but I have some special gifts for you. I have a very special surprise for the both of you, uh, as well as a gift for you, an early gift, because I... The problem is, is I buy Christmas gifts and I get so excited to give them that I, I can't wait till Christmas. I, I want to wait. Early. Well, I have things for Christmas as well. What? So, so we'll take you along. We'll go down into the lower uh, uh, stand and we'll pick out a Christmas tree. We'll bring it up and then uh, we'll bring, we'll, we invite you inside. So, should we head out? Okay. All right. What type of tree? Pine? Or, 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 or fir? Noble. Don't have her. Don't have any noble. Oh dear. It just fell to the bottom of my leg, and the saw isn't inside of it. So now I have some a saw in my pants. That I'm trying to get out. I'd probably recommend not having a saw loose in your pants. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe the sheath would be a good idea. My crab gloves don't work too well with that. The interesting thing is, is that that's the fourth time that's happened. No, it's not. It's the first. It's the first time it slipped out of my pant or out of the sheath. <laughs> Did you say a more snow's coming? Yes, more a big snow. Dump soon? Big dump. Ten inches, hopefully. She needs a coat. <laughs> Poor baby. Uh oh, Jack Snowball, you better take it from him before he throws it at you. Lucy doesn't have any trouble with this bridge. <laughs> it kind of slipped over. This is the bridge that keeps everything, the walk exciting. So you guys saw a couple days ago, 
I decorated Mrs. W's running trail with all the Christmas balls. Well, her and Jack haven't, haven't seen it yet, so it was my idea was to su surprise them when we went down and got a tree. So I'll, I'll show you their, uh, them seeing it for the first time. Now look out, there's a, there's a tree down. Where is it? If you keep following the path, there's a... So is this what you did as you cut trees down in my running path? <laughs> keep you from coming. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right, so... you can open your eyes. Ah. Oh, really was a tree. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Look at this. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> I love it. Why don't we keep these here all year? This is beautiful. Mama, you don't need to feel every single one. I like to feel them. This is great. I love it. And I will say it makes the spoopy woods a little less spoopy. Unfortunately. But they look really cool. of those they're kind of they're kind of skinny but they'll fit in the tree stand in that little corner by the window why don't you jump Come on. i shall walk like a civilized person it's gonna break just so you know i agree <laughs> oh that was my foot oh, i'm sorry <laughs> but that was wrong all right do it <laughs> Woo! oh my goodness <laughs> that was so anticlimactic it's not very deep down there. It would have been more climactic if I had like fallen in the water while walking across that log. That's right. You gonna lend your baby boy a hand across that stream? Yes, it's it's raging rapids here. Come on, Ginger Sue. Ooh. <laughs> um, so the ceiling's less than eight ah. feet. So what about that one right next to you, Jackers? That one? Yeah. That looks okay. It's kind of dead. It's not dead. Yeah. Call Heart Racer, see if she can make it across the goal. Oh, Ooh, good girl. Yeah. Ah. She's so brave. It's hard to not be a real dog. I think I found it. Right in there. Sometimes. Hey Jack, I'm thinking one of those trees over there. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Jump on over there and take a look. I think we can get over there. Oh yeah. So well, hard. To I was thinking, Jack. What about um? How about that one right there is really full. If we just use the top two thirds of it. Yeah. Do you have the saw? Uh, it's over there on the bank. So. Cut, make sure you cut enough off. It'd be, it'd, it'd be better to have it too tall and not tall enough, Jack. So cut further down. Cut way down. Because um, then you can... Ah. So this is... This is a grand. A grand fur. Well, we're having a grand fur in our house, apparently. So when you were little, you couldn't do this by yourself, Jack. We had to help you. Ah! Oh, goodness. I landed a shrubbery upon Are you a okay? <laughs> I guess I There's your action shot. I didn't have my escape route planned there. <laughs> Maybe we're glad it's not covered well, in snow and Jack, weighs a lot more. I'm used to Jack being little and coming out here and taking like an hour and a half for him to chop through a tree. And now it's like Papa. a minute and a half. Papa. <laughs> what? Yeah. You, 
you uh, you wanted that action shot, so I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we got the action shot. So you chose a saw this type instead of an axe or a hatchet? Yes, faster and smaller. And I can stick it in my pocket, sort of. When you used to drag these home, it would take you forever. You'd have to stop and rest and you, <gasps> and we'd have to explain to you why you wanted to pull from the big end instead of the small end. It's pretty cute. Sort of made it. Now it's slightly damp. I was almost slightly damp. Does it work for vaulting? I think that looks great, Jack. I think it's great. It's good. We can cut a little bit off the bottom, so it looks pretty even. I'll never fit in our house. So I think our ceiling, our ceiling's this high. Mm -hmm. I guess I can touch it. So we can cut a little off the bottom. Looks nice. All right. You gonna carry it all the way back up? I'll drag it. All right. Here you go. Is that your revenge for me felling it upon you? No, I don't want any revenge. <laughs> That'd make a really awesome looking Christmas tree, wouldn't it, Papa? It's getting so big. Oh, that would be some real work around here. Pretty pretty, huh? You didn't leave your mama behind back there too far, did you? I thought she was right behind me, so I'm not sure where she is. <laughs> How's it feel being taller than her? I really like being tall. It's glorious. So how tall do you think you're going to be? I hope about six foot two, maybe. Six two? Yeah, probably. Your granddad is how tall? He's 6'6", six, six. Mm -hmm. and I'm 6'4", so you might be right in there. You might be taller than I am. Probably not. So yeah, 6'3 six, six, is about right. That way you don't have to you have, don't have a hard time finding clothes and such. I'll say it's really annoying to me that I'm, I'm quite big now for a 12-year-old standards, but I'm still a head shorter than you. It's always bugging me. Ah, uh, you'll get there. I'm on the decline, you're on the incline. Mm, don't seem too much on the decline so far. It's tragic, but she's not a real dog. <laughs> it's kind of sad, isn't it? She's so cold. We need to get her a coat, but every time we buy her one, they don't fit properly. So we need to try it on first. So why are you carrying her? Because I love her. Does she she's just give up dog. and start scratching on your leg? She does. She jumps up on my leg. She's so warm. She's only good for about four miles. Well, she's pretty good, yeah. And she's gotten a little fat over the winter. She has. So has Lucy. Like, I'm going backwards. Did you ever have that much energy? Yes. I don't know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> had it last year. <laughs> Tortoise in the hair, Jack. Tortoise in the hair. I can't help it. I'll make it back first. Orange boots. You can't ver run very well with coveralls, boots, and a puffer, can you? You know what they say about cotton in the winter? It's hot. Cotton kills. Maybe. A little bit. When I lived in Colorado, I used to do a lot of mountaineering. Mm -hmm. You'd see folks that came up that were a little bit inexperienced. Well, a lot of inexperienced. And they wore cotton, and we would call them cottoneers. <laughs> this is the gift that I've been waiting to give you for so long. It's kind of heavy, so I'll just have you open it right here. That's the bow that keeps on giving, isn't it? We've only had it for, what, 10 years? We, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a very reuser. She recycles our, our Christmas bows. 
I put a lot of thought into this. Jack, you got your knife on you? Mm -hmm. It's better to give than to receive. I'm, 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 I'm curious because I don't know. I wanted gravel for Christmas and this does not look like gravel. Mama, it's just a really cut, small back. You, you cut away. <laughs> this is kind of an awkward position here, love. Do you want to set it down on the ground? No, it's, I got to, I got to hold it. It's very delicate. Sometimes you need the young lingo stuff. Just watch my coat. Watch your arm. <laughs> this harkens back to the day when Jack opened every single Christmas gift. It's not getting any village. lighter, that's for sure. <laughs> Weight training. Okay, so do, do I get any introduction to what this is? No, you just, you just, it's, uh, it's your favorite color. It is my favorite color. Yeah. Do you know what it is? It's body armor. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Um, Actually, it keeps on receiving. There was, I, I, don't, I don't know that this. There was a sale. Uh huh. Yeah, and I it just put your arms up, and when when times get hard, you'll thank me. It's really fun to take off. This it, is that is this for marathon training? It's like a weight vest. No, it's to save your life. And since there was there was a sale, <laughs> that it was it was. I figured why buy one when you can buy two at twice the price. It's like that Samsung deal where you get a free phone. I got one for me too. Buy. I got mine's tan, but you, I, you like the color? The, the color is lovely. Level four. Let's stop a 30 at six round. I didn't know I wanted one. Yeah, well. I did? You'll thank me. <laughs> oh, it's obvious. Of course yeah. you wanted one. I got one for you too. It's coming. Thanks, babe. <laughs> so if you want to, you want to make your, your lady happy. Ow! That's what you want. <laughs> Parts under there. <laughs> Do you want to trade? trade? Uh, you like this color better? No, I like the green better. You like the green one? Okay. Yeah. Um, I knew you'd love it. Come here, Jack. You want to try it on? So I already where, have. Where's my gift? That is your gift. <laughs> you it's to save your some, life. You don't want something gift. ordinary like all the other women get, do you? I wanted gravel. Oh, gra that's not for Christmas. Body armor is for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you.